this is Deepak from Appetaria. In this video, we are going to learn how to implement same options menu and action bar menu on all the activities of your app. Implementing same action options menu and action bar menus on all the activities can be a tedious task, but we can create our own activity and extend all other activities from that activity to implement all options menu and action bar on all the activities. So let's see how to do this. So here I'm using Android Studio 2.2.3. I'm going to start a new project for this. I'll say same, same action menus example. Say next. I'll keep API 15, empty activity, and I will create my first activity as base activity. So this activity will be our base activity from which we will extend all other activities of our project. Okay, now to now add options menu and the action bar menus in our project, we need to add a new directory in this res folder called as menu so this will be in a small case and with it should have a proper spelling that is m e n u menu right so now it is it has created one folder in this now right click on that menu folder and say new menu resource file i will name it as common menus now this will hold a re reference for all my menus which will be visible on all the activities of my project so I will add three menu items in this activity menu item one two three now if you want to show this menu item on the action bar you need to set this show as action as if row I will again set this to my second menu item that is if room and for the third one I will say never so don't show it on the action bar it will be always in this oh, it will always open with these three dots so that's why it is called as option menu so I'll say never now also I will share some text there I will set some text there on all the items so for my first item I will say share then for my second item I'll say attach and for the third item I'll say say example settings fine now my three uh, item menu items has been added now to show icon here on the action bar you need to set your icon here but before this we need to create icon for this so right click on this app folder say new image asset then select this option called as action bar and tab icons change the name to say suppose IC underscore share select the image from the clip part or you can use any other custom image from your computer now I'll say share use this theme hollow dark cause our action bar is of blue color so we will show the action bar icon of white color there or you can also choose the custom color to give any custom color to your icon so in this case I will set hollow dark so that my icon will be of light color okay now I need to add one more icon for my another menu called as attach so I'll create one more image asset I will again say action bar and tab icons I'll say IC underscore attach select your icon set this attach and again I will select hollow dark and finish now it has added two icons in my project now to set icon to this action bar menu item I will choose this icon option I will select IC underscore share and say ok now you can see the icon is here Similarly for attach, I will say I see underscore attach and it will set that attach. So now if 
this icon is visible on or shown on the action bar then only it will show the icon otherwise it will show the text which we have set on this item that is nothing but the title of the icon also we need to set the ids so that we can handle the click for this particular menu item so we need to set the ids for our all the menu items so i'm just setting the ids now to so we have just created this menu file now to show this menu file on click of those three dots that is on the options menu you need to create implement this method called as on create options menu now this method will be implemented or uh, this method will be called when you click on those three dots so here i need to use this method called as get menu inflator dot inflate so this inflate method is used to convert your xml file into a programmable uh, or visible view so we have created our menu items in a xml file called as common menus dot xml from this xml file we want to generate our menus so that's why we are using this method called as inflate so here we need to pass the reference of our menu file and the second parameter is parameter so that pa parent so the parent is nothing but the input parameter for this method that is the menu in which we are going to add childs from this xml file all right so that's why we need to pass the object of the parent here so i'll say menu okay now that's it this will be to show the menus now to handle a click of those action bar menus or uh, option menus we need to say on options item selected so we need to implement this method which is called as on options item selected now this method is having input parameter as a menu item so that is nothing but the reference of the menu item which has been clicked so we need to create i'm going to create one integer variable with id say item dot get item id so in this we'll get the id of the item which has been clicked by the user now i will simply add a switch case or a if condition that if id is equal to r dot id dot menu share then that means my menu share menu is clicked similarly i will add if else condition to this so i will share share attach so i'll say attach menu is clicked and so copy and paste this and then i'll say settings so that settings menu is clicked Now this is our base activity now we want to create a main activity which will be inherited from this base activity so that all these menus will be directly come into our main activity so i will add one more empty activity in this project <coughs> i will name it as main activity now first thing that i will change is it is extending from a app compact activity i will change it to base activity one more activity i will add the main activity to again i will change this to base activity so this base activity is nothing but the activity we have just created in our project and again the third activity i will say again it will be extended from the base activity fine right now uh, all our three activities are ex uh, extending or inheriting from the base activity so that all the options menu which we have added on the base activity and the click listener of that 
which we have added on the base activity will get in inherited in all the all these three activities so just to identify our activities we need to set some text there on all other activities so for my first activity i will set some text and display here that this is activity number 1 on the second activity again i will drag and drop a text view and i will also add a text there and i will say this is my activity number second and again for the third activity i will add a text view and i will set a text there that this is activity number 3 okay so that's it now <clears throat> we will we just need to one change one step here that is now this intent file uh, intent filter tag is in your base activity so when this will be a launching or first activity of our project so we just want to change that to main activity so that our main activity will be launched first and we will also add a step there on our base activity on click of each item for so example on click of share i share menu we will start our main activity so we need to use the explicit intent and there we will pass or we will open the main activity similarly for other menus so on click of attach menu we will open the second activity and on settings menu we will open the third activity fine so on every menu item we are opening the activity and we are using this base activity class uh, to extend all our activities so with the simple step we are using or we are having the options menu and the action action bar menus on all the activities so uh, this is why we are creating this base activity if you want to <coughs> add or remove menu items from your activities so you need to use this on option item selected method and this on create option menu uh create option menu method on all the activities and if you want to add or remove any menu item you need to change all on all the activities so that can be a tedious task just to overcome that we have created this base activity and from this base activity we are extending all other activities so now we will just execute this program and we'll see the output now you can see the project is running and you can see there are two uh, action bar icons that is share and attach <clears throat> and also there is one option menu called as setting now if i click on the attach button it will open my activity number 2 and you can see on activity number 2 there are options of share attach and the setting now if i click on the setting menu it will open my activity number 3 and there also you can see all my action menu and option bar menus are available so you can see on click of every action bar menu or the option menu it is opening the activity so thank you for watching guys hope this video will help you subscribe our channel for more videos like this don't forget to click on the bell sign when you subscribe for our channel thank you